Hello and thank you for tuning in to another Hobby Porter video. Today we're going over one of the features of the ISDT um, BG8S cell checker. Uh, I'm not going to cover all of the features of this cell checker. It's, uh, there's plenty of videos out there you, you can watch if you want to know everything it does. Uh, what I'm going to go over today is the receiver checking function. Um, this is something that I haven't seen discussed too much. I haven't seen too many uh, videos or explanations on, on what this is or how it works. So I thought I'd just give you a quick run through. Uh, so we've got our T8S, uh, sorry, BG8S cell checker. And today we're going to test a, just an, an FR Sky uh, XM uh, receiver. Now to do this, the what you need to do is actually power the uh, cell checker through the S bus channel. This won't work if you're powering it through the XT60 plug. The quick and easy way to do that is uh, get one of these um, servo splitters or ser two dual servo cables. Uh, you, you can wire one of these up yourself, uh, but this is easy to grab. These are generally used for fixed wing airplanes for aileron uh, servos to, to split two servos into one channel. Now what you want to do is go ahead and just snip the signal wire on one side, leave the other side intact, because we're going to use a ESC today as our 5 volt uh, input. So we'll just run that off a, um, a ESC and a battery, and I'll plug all that in and show you how it works. Okay, so we've gone ahead and plugged in one side of the splitter cable to the ESC so that's got our five volts coming in now and the other side we've plugged the receiver into and then what we're going to do is take this side of the cable and plug it into the cell checker now the ground is the first pin so ground into there and it powers it up and you can see it saying we've got one one channel with five volts uh, that's fine so what we want to do now is go to the menu press the middle button and we want to go up to receiver test okay so click receiver test now we're testing a s bus in this case so go to s bus and right away you can see the stuff going on there so uh, what i've got is my trusty TSG um, with the FR Sky protocol. I've already bound that to the receiver. So what we're going to do is go ahead and just move the sticks around. So there you can see my aileron. Yes, I'm mode one. Don't hold it against me. There's aileron, uh, throttle, We've got rudder, elevator, and I've just selected uh, let me get it all in the frame here. I programmed in four other channels on the sticks, just so you can see there's things going on there. Okay, so this is a really great function of this cell checker. Um, super handy if you're having troubleshooting issues, trying to get a receiver working with a flight controller, or perhaps you just want to use the... Uh, the, the cell checker to set up channels on your radio without having to be connected to your to your flight controller and so forth but there you have it that's the receiver function of the bg8s i hope you found this useful uh, if you did please give us a like and uh, subscribe to our channel so you can stay up to date with news and product information from hobby Porter. thanks a lot for watching